enemies. You know my reproach, my shame and my dishonour. My adversaries are all in your sight. Reproach has broken my heart. I am full of heaviness. I looked for some to have pity, but there was no one. Neither found I any to comfort me. They gave me gall to eat. And when I was thirsty, they gave me vinegar to drink. Let the table before them be a trap. trap. And their and sacred feast a snare. Let their eyes be darkened that they cannot see and give them continual trembling in their loins. Pour out, out your, your indignation, indignation upon them, them. And, and let the heat of your anger overtake them. Let their camp be desolate, and let there be no one to dwell in their tents. For they, they persecute the one whom you have stricken, and increase the sorrows of him whom you have pierced. Lay to their charge guilt upon guilt, and let them not receive your vindication. Let, let them be wiped out of the book of your living, living. And, and not, not be written, written among the righteous. righteous. As for me, I am poor and in misery. Your saving help, O God, will lift me up. I will, I will praise the name, the name of God with a song. I will, I will proclaim, proclaim his, his greatness, greatness with thanksgiving. This will please the Lord more than an offering of oxen, more than bulls with horns and hooves. The, the humble shall see and be glad. You who see God, your, your heart shall live. For the Lord listens to the needy, and his own who are imprisoned he does not despise. Let the heavens and the earth praise him, the seas and all that moves in them. For God will save Zion and rebuild the cities of Judah. They shall live there and have it in possession. The children of his servants shall inherit it. And they that love his name shall dwell therein. Zeal for your house has eaten me up. The scorn of those who scorn you has fallen upon me. On the Mount of Olives, Jesus prayed to the Father. Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. The Spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Watch and pray that you may not enter into temptation. The spirit is, is willing, but the, the flesh is weak. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked. From the clutches of the evil doer and the oppressor. A reading from the Lamentations of Jeremiah the prophet. How doth the city sit solitary that was full of people? How is the mistress of the Gentiles become as a widow? The princes of provinces made, made tributary. Weeping she hath wept in the night, and her tears are on her cheeks. There is none to comfort her among all them that were dear to her. All her friends have despised her and are become her enemies. Judah hath removed her dwelling place because of her affliction and the greatness of her bondage. She
she hath dwelt among the nations, and she hath found no rest. All her persecutors have taken her in the midst of straits. The ways of Zion mourn, because there are none that come to the solemn feast. All her gates are broken down, her priests sigh, her virgins are in affliction, and she is oppressed with bitterness. Her adversaries are become her lords, her enemies are enriched, because the Lord hath spoken against her for the multitude of her iniquities. Her children are led into captivity before the face of the oppressor. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, return to the Lord your God. Let them draw back and be disgraced, who take pleasure in my misfortune. Praise thee, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Let them be ashamed and confounded that seek after my soul. Let them be turned backwards and put to confusion that we even. Let them for their reward be soon brought to shame, but cry over me forever. But let all those that seek me be joyful and glad in thee. And that all such as delight in thy salvation say always, the Lord be praised. As for me, I am poor and in misery. Haste thee unto me, O God. Thou art my helper and my redeemer. Let them draw back and be disgraced, who take pleasure in my misfortune. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from, from the clutches of, of the evildoer and the oppressors. The second lesson. And from the daughter of Zion, all her beauty is departed. Her princes are become like rams that find no pastures, and they are gone away without strength before the face of the pursuer. Jerusalem hath remembered the days of her affliction and prevarication of all her desirable things which she had from the days of old, when her people fell in the enemy's hand and there was no helper. The enemies have seen her and have mocked at her Sabbaths. Jerusalem hath grievously sinned, therefore is she become unstable. All that honoured her have despised her, because they have seen her shame. But she sighed and turned backward. 
her filthiness is on her feet and she has not remembered her end. She is wonderfully cast down, not having a comforter. Behold, O Lord, my affliction, because the enemy is lifted up. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, return to the Lord your God. My soul is very sorrowful, even to the point of death. Remain here and watch with me. Now you shall see the crowd who will surround me. You will flee and I will go to be offered up for you. Behold, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. You will flee and I will go to the offer up for you. for you. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from, from the, the clutches of the evildoer and the oppressor. The third lesson. The enemy hath put out his hand to all her desirable things, for she hath seen the Gentiles enter into her sanctuary, of whom you, you Thou gavest commandment that they should not enter into thy church. All her people sigh, they seek bread. They have given all their precious things for food to relieve the soul. See, O Lord, and consider, for I am become vile. O all ye that pass by the way, attend and see if there be any sorrow like to my sorrow. For he hath made a vintage of me, as the Lord spoke in the day of his fierce anger. From above he hath sent fire into my bones, and hath chastised me. He hath spread a net for my feet. He hath turned me back. He hath made me desolate, wasted with sorrow all the day long. The yoke of my iniquities hath watched. They are folded together in his hand and put upon my neck. My strength is weakened. The Lord hath delivered me into a hand out of which I am not able to rise. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, return to the Lord your God.
Lo, we have seen him without beauty or majesty. With, with no looks to attract our eyes, he bore our sins and grieved for us. He was wounded for our transgressions, transgressions and by, by his scourging we are we healed. healed. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, and, and by his scourging we are healed. God is my helper. It is the Lord who sustains my life. Save me, O God, for thy name's sake, and avenge me in thy strength. Hear my prayer, O God, hearken unto the words of my mouth. All strangers are this and up against me, and tyrants which have not God before their eyes seek after my soul. Behold, God is my helper, the God is with them that uphold my soul. He shall reward evil unto mine enemies. Destroy thou them in thy truth. An offering of a free heart I will give thee, and praise thy name, O Lord, because it is a comfort, comfort above. For he hath delivered me out of all my troubles, and mine eye hath seen his desire upon mine enemies. God is my helper. It is the Lord who sustains my life. He has made me dwell in darkness, like, like the, the dead, dead of long ago. ago. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from, from the, the clutches, clutches of, of the, the evildoer and, and the oppressor. The fourth lesson. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. We do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are, yet was without sin. Let us then approach the throne of grace with confidence, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. Every high priest is selected from among men and is appointed to represent them in matters related to God, to offer gifts and sacrifices for sins. He is able to deal gently with those who are ignorant and are going astray, since he himself is subject to weakness. This is why he has to offer sacrifices for his own sins, as well as for the sins of the people.
I was like a trusting lamb led to the slaughter. I did, I did not, not know, know it was against me, but they devised schemes, saying, Let us destroy the tree with his fruit. Let, Let us cut him off from the land of the living. All my enemies whispered together against me, and devised evil against me, saying, Let, Let us destroy the tree with its fruit. Let us cut him off from the land of the living. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from, from the clutches of the evildoer and the oppressor. The fifth lesson, a continuation of the letter to the Hebrews. No one takes this honour upon himself. He must be called by God, just as Aaron was. So Christ also did not take upon himself the glory of becoming a high priest. But God said to him, you are my son. Today I have become your father. And he says in another place, you are a priest forever in the order of Melchizedek. During the days of Jesus's life on earth, he offered up prayers and petitions with loud cries and tears to the one who could save him from death. And he was heard because of his reverent submission. Although he was a son, he learned obedience from what he suffered. And once made perfect, he became the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him and was designated by God <clears throat> to be high priest in the order of Melchizedek. The veil of the temple was torn in two. And the earth shook, and, and the feet from the cross cried out, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. The rocks were split, the tombs were opened, and many bodies of the saints who slept were raised. And the earth shook, and the feet from the cross cried out, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from, from the, the clutches of the evildoer and the oppressor. Sixth lesson. When Christ came as high priest of the good things that are already here, he went through the greater and more perfect tabernacle that is not man-made, that is to say, not a part of this creation. He did not enter by means of the blood of goats and calves, but he entered the most holy place once for all by his own blood, having obtained eternal redemption. The blood of goats and bulls and the ashes of a heifer sprinkled on those who are ceremonially unclean sanctify them so that they are outwardly clean. 
how much more then will the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself unblemished to God, cleanse our consciences from acts that lead to death, so that we may serve the living God. For this reason, Christ is the mediator of a new covenant, that those who are called may receive the promised eternal inheritance. When the Lord was buried, they sealed the tomb, rolling a great stone to the door of the tomb, and they, and they stationed soldiers to guard, to guard him. The chief priests gathered before Pilate and petitioned him, and they stationed soldiers to guard him. O death, I will be our death. O grave, I will be your destruction. O praise God in his holiness. Praise him in the firmament of his, of, of his power. Praise him in your bonus. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him in the sound of the trumpet. Praise him upon the root and harp. Praise him in the cymbals and dancers. Praise him upon the strings and pipe. Praise him among the well-tuned cymbals. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. O death, I will be our death. O grave, I will be your destruction. My flesh also shall rest in hope. You will not let your holy one see corruption. Now the women sitting at the tomb made lamentation, weeping for the Lord. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people, and has raised up a mighty salvation for us. In the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hands of all the traitors. To perform the mercy promised to our forefathers and to remember his holy covenant. To perform the oath which he swear to our forefather Abraham that he would give us that 
that weeping delivered out of the hands of our enemies, might serve him without fear. In holiness and righteousness before him, all the days of our life. And the child shall be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people for the remission of their sins. Through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high has visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Now the women sitting at the tomb made lamentation, weeping for the Lord. Christ for us became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name. Have mercy upon me, O God, in your great goodness. According to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my offences. Wash me thoroughly from my wickedness and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my faults and my sin is ever before me. Against you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight so that you are justified in your sentence and righteous in your judgment. I have been wicked even from my birth, a sinner when my mother conceived me. Behold, you desire truth deep within me, and shall make me understand wisdom in the depths of my heart. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear of joy and gladness, that the bones you have broken may rejoice. Turn your face from my sins and blot out all my misdeeds. Make me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me again the joy of your salvation and sustain me with your gracious spirit. Then shall I teach your ways to the wicked, and sinners shall return to you. Deliver me from my guilt, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing of your righteousness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. For you desire no sacrifice else I would give it. You take no delight in burnt offerings. The sacrifice of God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O oh God, you will not despise. Oh. 
almighty God. We pray you graciously to behold this your family, for whom our Lord Jesus Christ was willing to be betrayed and given into the hands of sinners and to suffer death upon the cross. <laughs> 